the video because when I was doing her eyes it kept going in and out of frame you really couldn't see what I was doing so I'm just going to start by using a LA Girl Pro Concealer as foundation for her because I do not have foundation color in her shade unfortunately and I know it looks real white you see I'm trying to test it out make sure it look good against her chest <laughs> um, but yeah the color I use was like beautiful bronze or something like that and a lot of times people some people's faces are darker than the rest of their body so I like to match foundation to your chest because your chest isn't going to have any makeup on it whereas your face is going to be completely covered in makeup and it's not going to look good if it's darker than your chest and your chest is showing of course um also throughout this video um you will see me playing with the lighting a little bit because in person her makeup looked fine but for some reason on camera it was looking kind of ashy if that makes sense but once i took like pictures with flash and stuff like that she didn't have any flashback or anything like that so i don't know if it was just like the quality of my camera or like just like how weird our setup was um and a better setup is coming soon but I just got this ring light, so I wanted to test it out. She wanted to be featured on my channel, so I figured I'd show me doing somebody else's makeup for a change, even though you didn't really get to see the eyes. But I will be doing other people's makeup soon on my channel. So I'm just blending it out. Okay, so now I'm taking the, I think it's Urban Decay, the All Nighter Full Coverage um, Concealer in the color, um, I think Deep Warm, I think. That's the only thing that I really had that I feel like would brighten up underneath her under eye and not look it's crazy see like to me her face looks real washed out looking back at this but at the same time to me it matches her neck and her chest so I don't know if it was just my lighting or if it was the makeup and I'm sorry it keeps going out of frame it's because my tripod is not very tall so yeah I need a tripod like a taller one <laughs> and so here I just am I already started pretty much but I took a Sephora concealer um, it's like the bright future concealer I don't know what color it's in but it's the Sephora brand or whatever and I really do like this concealer and I'm using that to pretty much snatch in her face and add in some depth not necessarily color because it's pretty like a contour color it's pretty cool colored wise but it's adding a little bit of color back to her face so she won't look like just one color. Okay, so now that I have put contour all over her face using the Sephora, I am now going to take the Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder in the color Deep. And if the lighting looks like it's changing, it's because of like, when you add different colors like around lighting and stuff like that, like it'll focus on different stuff and it'll change like kind of like the way the lighting is set up. So I noticed that like the lighting will go from warm to cool and I wasn't even like switching the the color setting on my ring light at least not yet because I will do that in the video but yeah I'm just doing that and I'm like kind of like setting everywhere that I put that highlight um, concealer just so she won't crease or anything like that
Okay, so once I've wiped off that powder, I'm then going to go into the um, Black Radiance Medium to Deep or to Dark, one of the two. Because um, they have like a deep to dark or dark to deep, but it's the one right before that. And I'm going to take the contour shade in that and just kind of like set her contour concealer that I put on her. And because like around this time is when I noticed that on camera, the, after I put the powder on her face, she looked ghostly. Once I realized that that I began to play with the lighting a little bit so you'll see that and also I um I took one of the powders that was in that black radiance palette that I was using to contour her face to put more of a um I don't know like more of a warmer light brown versus like a cold light brown Excuse me, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I'm going to use that later on with like a like a little blush brush or whatever to try and wipe off more of that fit me powder. Um, I don't think that that the one that I have is their darkest color for that. It's just that's the darkest one that I had at the moment, and I'm currently still expanding my collection let's see as you can see i'm going in there and i'm trying to put some more normal color back on there but every time i move this little black thing you'll see the lighting will change so please forgive me y'all i know how to do makeup i promise <laughs> i don't be having people look looking weird out here okay but i thought that it'd be nice for me to feature um, Cause I do people's makeup who is both darker than me, lighter than me, same color as me. Like I, I feel like I do a pretty good job at all of it, and I've done someone's makeup who was even darker than her before, and her makeup came out bomb. But it was like a long time ago, and I haven't taken, and I didn't take pictures of my stuff like that back then. But yeah, I feel like I gotta defend myself. <laughs> but in the end, it's gonna look good. She ain't gonna go sleep. I promise y'all, she's not. Okay, so now we're doing highlights, and as a base highlight, I put on the highlight shade that was in the Black Radiance palette, but I wanted to go on top of that and use Hot Sand in the Ultimate Glow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, I'm just putting that on her high points, like on the tip of her nose, on the bridge of her nose, um, yeah, on her cheekbones, stuff like that, and just so she can glow. So now that I've done that, I'm going to just spray her face down to melt away any powder. This will also bring back her color because um, before you apply like setting spray, sometimes it'd be excess powder and I use the Morphe setting spray and you can use that as primer, like a primer spray or a setting spray. I prefer to just use it as a setting spray because I don't know what I'm going to be able to give me some again. And it is love, honey. It is the it's the best setting spray I've ever used. But yeah, just spread a generous amount on her face. Let her melt away all the excess powder. And yeah. Okay, so now this is the finished look. So I did not record me doing her lips or her eyelashes because my camera cut off and she was getting sleepy. So we were doing this like at like in the wee hours of the morning. But yeah, this is what she looked like. As you can see, she was feeling herself, you know, pull the hair down. Yeah, so this is it. <laughs>